Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on a Forza Horizon 2 with another one of my favourite vehicles on this game. This is the Rally Fighter, a rear wheel drive off road vehicle. It is great fun messing around with this truck. You really can chuck it around <laughs> on the dirt roads. It's a lot of fun. I, it was we, one of the vehicles I was most looking forward to driving alongside the Williams Clio. This is this something a bit different, something we haven't really seen in a Forza game before. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go for some exploring rather than just go and do some races. We're going to go try and find some of the barn finds. I've unlocked a few and I haven't gone and looked at them. So uh, oh, there seems to be a Maserati race going on. Wait for me, I will join in. I'm a pretend Maserati. Sure. Can we overtake them? Oh dear. I have upgraded this a little bit from the standard, so it has got some 500 odd horsepower. Uh, it is pretty bloody fast. Oh, we're not making that turn. Okay, we're going down this way. Trees! Hello. Oh dear. There's a sky. Floor. Sky. Floor. Oh! <laughs> it resetted me. Um. Anyway, where are we going for these barn finds up this way? I, I found that the first one wasn't too bad. Uh, <laughs> to like, I don't know. I don't know how well hidden they are, but if we're going to have a vehicle for off-road exploring, this is probably going to be the one to do it. Now, I normally will drive in cockpit view. I prefer that, that viewpoint for driving. However, for the hunting of barn finds, I will probably end up swapping to third-person view just so you can get a bit better view of, of what's going on. Now, while this game does give you quite a lot of freedom, I've gone into a car park, speaking of that's... Ooh! Hmm. Uh, I was hoping I could get away with going... Oh dear, are we a bit wedged? Oh, arse. I thought we could go down there. I thought I'd spied a shortcut. It appears not. We have... Oh, gently does it, gently does it. No. Ah, crap. It's, I haven't got a... I didn't put a diff in it. How does one... You reset me when I was perfectly fine rolling along. But you don't reset me when... <laughs> When I bugger it up on my own. Okay, come on, Rally Fighter. You can do this. Okay, well, this is an unconventional way of getting out. There we go. Three point turn. I was trying to be. I was trying to be clever. So yeah, as I was, as I was saying, uh, there is quite a lot of freedom on here, but there are still in, there are still walls uh, line, lining certain areas. So we can't quite go absolutely everywhere. So we've got to be careful of sudden hidden low stone walls and, and incredibly strong wooden posts. Now. Because it is quite an open map on a lot of it, these barn, or the, the first barn find wasn't too bad. You just had to find find some buildings to go and look at. This one seems to be a lot of trees. I would like big open area, please. Um, oh, there's one of those bouncy things. I may end up having to go to. Oh, hello. I didn't kill that car. It's okay. We will just go down here and remove the. Uh, no, I'm not going to race an LFA with a rally fighter. That's not going to happen. Hmm. Okay. What have we got in the way of buildings? Let's go up here and survey. Or slightly spin out as well. I didn't realise this thing was a rear-wheel drive car. It's... Uh, <laughs> I, I was fully expecting it to be a, a big four-wheel drive thing, but no, 500 horsepower through the rear wheels of this. I, I don't think it's up here then. Okay, let's just get up to the, the very top, just in case the building is being a pain and hiding behind some trees. It does not look like it is up here. Okay. What have we got in the way of a view? down here. Can we see any buildings to aim for? There's a road, there's some buildings over there, but that's going to be too far away up on that hill. Uh, let maybe go and play in the trees over this way? Hmm. I think it unlikely perhaps. There's like a little a tiny sort of dirt path going over there somewhere. It does not look like there is a building in these trees. Let's go see where this leads. Ooh, let's go put it down a gear as well. Um, do we lead anywhere interesting? Oopsie, it's not crash into a tree, even at these low speeds. Uh, do we go anywhere or do we just loop around? Oh, no, we loop around this way. I think it leads up to the building over there. That is of no use to me at all. Hmm. One thing about the GPS on here is it does... Oh, maybe that is a useful building. Maybe I lied. I didn't think that was within range. Are you a useful building? Do you have a car? Do you contain a motor vehicle? No, uh, no. Unless the <laughs> oh, we can't fit in there. Crap. Uh, okay, you do not seem to contain the motor vehicle. The map changes how how zoomed in it is depending on something. I don't know what determines how zoomed in the map is. I can't figure it out. It's not controlled by me as to how much it zooms in. 
Hmm. Okay then. This is proving to be a little bit more tricky. We're not over here. Hmm. Oh, there's a board. Might as well go and oh, get that. Yeah, <laughs> thousand XP, not a huge amount. Uh, this is actually quite a large area to try and find a barn in. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go to the other side of the water, shall we? Oh, you're an average speed trap. Oh, arse. Um, <laughs> it's going to keep shouting at me until we complete it. Did I see something interesting over there? We might possibly have done. Let's just get round here and complete the average speed trap to shut it up. Uh, the handling of the off-road vehicles is, is all very good. The handling in general on this game is, is absolutely fantastic. And the cars are handled... Oh, the TV's just buggered itself up again. Thank you, TV. Um, the... <laughs> <laughs> in my TV turning off, I managed to go through the speed chart, that's better. Um, yeah, the handling of the dirt cars or, or driving off-road with these vehicles is, is very, very good. It feels feels very solid. It, it, it's, if you played Forza 5, your handling on here, it will be very, very similar. You, it will be instantly recognisable. Uh, admittedly, you know, this car, no, it isn't in Forza 5, and you don't normally have to deal with blasting through forests, etc. But it feel it feels right. It feels like how I would expect it to uh, to all handle on this game. Hmm. Where is this pesky barn? It is hidden somewhere around here. And I'm not sure where. <laughs> They've done a bloody good job of hiding it. It's a whole barn. How hard can it be to find a barn? Uh, oopsie. There we go. Now I've tried to be a bit too clever on the throttle there. Uh, let's go. Maybe first person view through these trees will help me. Find something? No? Hmm. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Arse. Hmm. Yeah, there's a treat in the way there. Okay, I don't know where the barn find is. It's very, very hidden. That's another bloody treat. Yes. There we go. Hmm. Where does one find a barn around here. Oh! Found a building! Found a building. That looks promising. And... Oh, no, no. Come on. Get... Really? You're going to get stuck like that? Oh, oh, crap. I really should have sorted that diff out before going like this. Uh, is there a way in to this bit? Haha! There is! That looks like a barn find! Woohoo! We... There we go. What do we got? That is the question. Yes, You're hello. Amazing. What car Two have I got? Please let me know. But also, I like the colour of your time. Jeep. Good choice. Uh, <laughs> what have we got? Oh, dear. <laughs> hmm. Oh my God, now that is a find. My Interesting uncle paint job. one of these when he was at the Horizon Festival. Yeah, I'll, I'll respray that. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we got a VW camper van. I'm not a fan of the camper van. However, I will like sticking a very big engine into it. I'm so, oh, oh, that that can, in, that can go and that can go and get restored. Hmm. Now, the interesting thing that this tells me about the barn finds is that I think they're going to be on one of these little paths. Here's a top tip for finding of barns: if you can find one of these little these sort of semi trails. That seems to lead us to the location. Kind of. Hmm. Okay, well we've got a couple more. In fact, actually I think one's just popped up on the map over there, hasn't it? Okay, we shall treat... We, we shall not tree, we shall go in... I was going to say we shall go straight to that place. And then I went straight into a tree. So, oh well. Oh god, it's getting to night time as well. Hmm. Okay. How fast dare we go through the forest at night? Answer, not very. It'll probably be a very big accident in doing that. This can only end well when we find, <laughs> find one of those low-lying walls. Uh, please be destructible. Please be destructible. Thank you. Uh, lots of things are destructible. Uh, there are, as I said, there are the occasional fences and walls that you don't quite see or that you think you can get away with destroying. Oh, we're going to go for a jump. I'm glad nothing was coming then. We're going to go across... Oh, we're going across a motorway at 100 miles an hour. Oh, trees, 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 trees. Oh! There's a <laughs> it's only so long you can do that before it inevitably goes wrong. Uh, hmm. Okay, then. Again, this area here looks quite... Is that... Can I see the barn from here? That would be too easy, surely. Surely that could not be it up there. No, I think... Oh, I think this is going to be a tricky one, because there's other buildings around. Hmm. 
Okay, well, let's go and have a look, just in case it is that easy. Uh, hmm. I've got to decide what camera angle is best for the uh, for the finding of stuffs. Uh, ooh, there we get a bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit slidey this car. It's good fun, but uh, it can be a little bit slidey. That looks like the building I found before. Oh, this thing on the star. That doesn't look like the barn. The barns are much lower than that. They are like a single story. Yeah, there we go. It's got the same alcove that we can't hide a car in. Hmm, okay, so the the barns themselves are kind of like single story-ish bits. But what have we got over there? Do they have lights on? I don't know if they would have. I'm going to guess they probably don't. I mean, if they had lights on, why would there be an abandoned car in them? So I'm guessing you are not it. You are random building. And as is this one over here, I will check it just to be on the safe side. Nothing worse than two of a... <laughs> also, that would be far too easy one to find. If it's just there on the side of the road. Ooh! Pretty fireworks in the distance. It does look quite cool. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. Don't spin out. Uh, more. On. There we go. Up the hill and sideways a bit more. That's got smoke coming out of it, so I'm going to guess that that is not a barn find. It is not. Hmm. Now, where does one go? Now, we. I wanted to find those little paths again. Little paths kind of led me to the other one. What about over there? Are you a are you a barn find? You look like a barn find. See, a little path. Little paths lead you. You've got to find them. There. <laughs> We've got another one. That was a much easier one. Or lucky. Or a bit of both. I'm going to say skill. Hello again. Habit. I found another car for you. Instincts. I'm that good. This should be good. What have we got? Please be a Capri. Please be a Capri. Please be a Capri. Please. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take the Ferrari. Who would leave a GTO? Shut up. In the garage. Ferrari 288 GTO? That's a sad sight. <laughs> but at least I will have it in a minute. Hot the damn Capri. One? And <laughs> not that I'm not, not that I'm displeased car. with the Ferrari the GTO, it but it, Capri would be very cool. Capri's another it car that's made home. it into Horizon that I haven't seen in any point. other racing game that I can think of. There's lots of cars. It's a really bloody good car list in here. Yeah, Ferrari GTO is being restored. And now we've got to go, whoopsie, carry on in a straight line. I think that this is the final barn find that I have unlocked so far. Uh, ooh, can I get it? <laughs> this thing is very easy to lose control of, especially when you're messing around on the dirt stuff. Hmm, oops, that was a solid tree. After all of those unsolid trees. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a poor decision. That was a very poor decision. We've done a flip and landed eventually. <laughs> there we go. I think I still have da <laughs> I had damage turned off for something, I've got to turn it back on. So we have an... uh-oh. Now it's raining as well. We have an impeccable car, despite the flips. And the rain's coming down, and I'm driving a rear-wheel drive truck. Okay, well, this should be fun. It should be sliding. In fact, sliding around on this game is a lot easier than uh, in Forza 5. In fact, it's very, very forgiving on here, even with the steering on simulation. I think this is a dead end we're not going to get out of. Uh, even with the steering on simulation, the cars are very easy to slide around. It's, it's quite hard to bugger it up entirely. I mean, sure, you know me when it comes to sliding. I will still spin the damn things pretty straightforwardly. But uh, you don't have, the cars don't sort of flick on you as badly, so if you get it sideways and you're trying to counter-steer, they're not as likely to suddenly twitch and throw the other way, uh, whereas they were on Forza 5. I hear it's a lot more forgiving. Much easier to have the car sliding around and then to rescue it as well. Uh, I'm not sure in the rain with this truck it'll be hugely easy. This is the right term, I think. Um, yeah, it's a hell of a lot easier than it was on Forza 5. A little bit more forgiving. Uh, it makes the game, I think, a little bit more accessible is what they were going for with it. I, I agree. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely handling system. Okay, is that a... Uh, it's got lights on again. That is uh, not going to be a barn find. That is... Uh, we've got a big old fence gate and stuff around it. Hmm... Okay, that's not going to be one either. Let's find those little, those useful little paths. You see, there's one here going along. Um, I've got to go up here and look, just in case it's hidden among these buildings. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, well, I'm glad I did. I got a board. Oh, and I leveled up and got a spinny thing. Awesome. Oh, so why on earth are there lights on up here? Like... <clears throat> oh, dear. Sorry, my voice is giving up. Uh, oh, that building there. Th what? What? It's just grass inside it, god damn. <laughs> hmm. You might need less forward gear. I want to do some renovation work on that building. Hmm. 
Okay, let's have a look down this way. Doesn't look very promising. Well, because I can pretty much see everything. There's like a is that a golf course over there? We may have to go play on the golf course slightly. Oh, we're gonna have a look over this way though. This could that looks quite promising up there. Whoops. Okay. Fine. We will arrive at the barn backwards. Nothing bad has happened at all. At least I'm hoping that is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm getting good at the spotting of stuffs. Please be Capri now. Please be a Capri. Please be a Capri. Or the Wheelie's Jeep. Either one. One of them. I don't even know what the other the barn finds might be. Come on. Yeah, I've been like busy. This. It's been this a busy evening in, in Horizon Festival. Right. Come on, Capri. Come on, Capri. Come on. Oh, well, it's the Jeep. Fair enough. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> well, the, is that a US Army Jeep? There's, there's, there's Jeez, kind of trees growing in it. That's going to need a it lot of work. Surplus at this point. Hmm. And look at that camber. Much camber on the Jeep. <laughs> well, there we go. That After the pain of the first the one, in that fact, was not too bad. Showcase. Finding the rest of them. Get Following these little parts, that is the technique to finding them. Get on these little, these sort of sub roads, if you like. Follow them, and you will find the barn finds eventually. Or you can just use bl blind, dumb luck. Which also works quite well. Is, there a, is this a golf course looking thing down here? Or is it just a nice flat, nice, a nice flat open area from up there? It looks like it could be. Whee! Look at the speed! All of the speed in the radio. How fast we can go off-road? Uh-oh. I'm just seeing where we're aiming for. Well, we're going up here anyway. Ooh. <laughs> oh dear, you got to love this, this car. It's such an excellent car. Whoa, trees! We jumped a tree! Oh dear. And there is our mandatory roll per video. Uh, <laughs> we jumped, I'm jumped over a tree. I'm not going to complain too much. Well, there we go. Three barn finds. I found the Jeep, a Ferrari GTO, and a VW camper van. Still no Capri though, which is a shame. Oh, we got free spin on the wheelie majig. Let's go and, let's go and do that stuff. Uh, progress, that's the one. Wheel spin. Please be something nice now I'm filming. Last time you gave me a Mercedes. If you could do the same again, it'd be lovely. And now, nothing interesting. 41,000 credits. It's not too shabby. But uh, n n no Mercedes SL Black Series -y thingy what's it that I got last time. Well, there we go. That is it for this video, guys. I highly recommend you give the Rally Fighter a go. This is a great car. I would recommend you upgrade the gearbox. It only has three gears as standard. I think, and there's not the greatest of gear ratios. So, uh, yeah, upgrade the gearbox, give it a little bit more power, you max it out in A-Class. It is huge amounts of fun for chucking around off-road. You really can attack pretty much everything that, uh, <laughs> that you want to with it. However, yeah, that is it from me, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye. <laughs>